So every one of us have a call. But just that we need to understand and respond to what Jesus is calling us to do. But unfortunately, Mr. Too Slow is always slow because he always wants to put him first. First, Lord, first let me do this and then I will come. It never happens. I will follow you, Lord, but... You see that? I will follow you, Lord, but first let me... But... There is always a but. We call him too easy, Mr. Too Easy. He always takes easy. Lord, I will do this, but... There is always a but. There is always an excuse. There is always an apology. There is always an explanation. There is always a rationalization. But you will never do it. Jesus said, he who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is unfit for the kingdom of God. All those people with butts, God is saying you are unfit. You know what they will be written on the tombstone? Unfit for the kingdom of God. That's what he says. Because your hand is on the plow, but your heart is not there. He who puts his hand on the plow and looks back. A disciple of the Lord will never look back. A disciple of the Lord always progresses. He always goes forward. He goes. Go. Why your hand is on the plow? Why you put your hand on the plow and you keep looking back? Because your heart is not on the plow. Your hand is on the plow, but your heart is wandering and wavering. That's why you cannot give your 100% to Jesus. You know what a plow is? When you're, when you're farming, you have to make sure that your hand is right on the plow and you're looking at your oxen because if it, if it moves from the right course, you cannot plow the field properly. It has to be on the right course. That's why your hand, your heart, everything is on the, on the plow. You're plowing the field. That's what God is saying. It's not, just, it's not just saying that I want to do something for God. It's not just saying I will do something for God. No, what does God want you to do? Don't do something. We don't come here to give leftovers to God. What is it God wants you to do? What is that God is calling you to do? Have you put your heart and your hands into it and doing it? 